And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from a lovely little Westlake Village, California. It is Friday afternoon, and I wanted to see how the day closed. Why? Well, <clears throat> a couple of things here. I want to give you the bull news and the bear news. The bull news. Uh, mostly bullish news today. It looks like uh, Elon Musk partnered, not partnered. Let's see. So Elon Musk statement, uh, everyone tag Elon, right? This is an anchor. Tesla only sold 10% of its holdings to confirm Bitcoin could be liquidated easily without moving the market. When there's confirmation of reasonable 50% clean energy usage, miners with positive future trend, Tesla will resume allowing Bitcoin transactions. In other words, you're going to be able to pay for your Tesla with, Bitcoin. And that is happening right now. Bloomberg just said Bitcoin's clean energy utilization surpasses 50%. There's your bull news. Uh, second piece of bull news here, guys, is that Circle partnered with basically the Uber of <coughs> Circle, the USDC coin, right? Partnered with um, partnered with uh, the Uber of China. Going to bring a lot of people to crypto. Lots and lots of people to crypto, and that is positive for the market. So we're coming into the daily closure, and what other bull news do we have? Let's check out the Gaussian channel. I know I haven't brought this one up in a while. Where is the Gaussian channel? Scrolling in here. <laughs> We are still hanging out above the, what do you know? We did say if we broke back below here, we're going to tag that line. Uh, if the week closes, well, anywhere back above here or uh, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. And I am just adjusting one of my positions here. Bear with me just a second here. And... Am I going to adjust it is the question. No, I'm going to let it ride. Let it ride. Let it ride. Anyways, back onto the uh, the point here is on the weekly time frame, have we made an official lower low? Well, on a candle body closing basis, yes. But um, on a line chart, yes, we did. And on the daily, we did not. So we still got the daily uptrend potentially. Not daily uptrend, but uh, let's see. What about the five day? The five days okay. Five days okay. Needless to say, I'm going to get back onto my bar charts because I don't feel like that does a justice for us. I do want to also, yeah. So as long as we're above the mean band on the weekly uh, time frame, still uh, you know points for the bulls there. And what was the other one I wanted to bring up here? Uh, the Gaussian channel. Gaussian channel. Nope. The secondary indicator, our secondary chart, which includes the hash ribbons indicator. Let me get rid of that. Get rid of that. Bouncing off the bottom side, Trollinger band. The blue buy signal. Yes, we've had 15 blue buy signals and in past prior market cycles, technically speaking. We uh, don't break the previous weekly low before making new all-time highs. If we do confirm anywhere here or higher above 28.167 this week, very, very bullish uh, look for Bitcoin. I'd expect a pop back to the top side of the range at 31.383. If we wanted to look at the four-hour time frame, the move is getting faded, and I do suspect over the weekend, 25.8 uh, could definitely be in play. I'm going to put my regular chart uh, back on here. Back on, and then I'm going to call it a day because it is Friday, and you know what people like to do on Friday. They like to go home early. That's not me, but I've got things to do, and i got to get this video posted. Uh, what else is going on here? A little bit of bearish divergence coming from this high to this high. So needless to say, I mean, a lot of people are bullish here and holding on to the narrative, the mining capitulation signal 
is, uh, you know, definitely still in play, still in play. And that is the blue buy signal. So as long as we can trudge sideways and up over the weekend and not capitulate next week, well, that is going to be very bullish for Bitcoin. And we should see things get rather exciting here soon to the upside of the downside. Uh, with the S&P and NASDAQ doing this, options expiration, quadruple witching day, um, Technically speaking, uh, if you look at the past quadruple witchings, you'll see stocks typically go down and the week, the following week, stocks are typically weak. Okay. Does that bode well for Bitcoin? Uh, maybe or maybe not. Um, I'm going to let price action, uh, price action determine all. Uh, gold. We said we'd talk about gold really quick as Dixie has, uh, well, maintained the uptrend on the daily, putting in a bit of a hammer here, falling star, shooting star, whatever you want to call it. Um, a tick above or below the prior uh, high on the daily is probably going to get a decent sized move. And we'll be printing some bearish divergence as long as we are below uh, this last high right here. So closures for the Dixie, I'd say back. Back below this trend line is going to be bearish. Uh, if we come have a retest and confirm a higher low, I'd be looking for this box to get tagged. Tether dominance, uh, grinding out the top side of the range here and getting kicked out of the bullish control zone. A lot of altcoins are having a bit of a rally right now. That's good. Checking in on Bitcoin dominance here. And I got to wrap this up. Bitcoin dominance taking a tick down, maintaining this falling wedge pattern. Uh, falling, falling flag, falling whatever you want to call it, this falling channel. Those technically are more likely to break out to the upside. What am I talking about? It's a bull flag. It is a bit of a bull flag. Those technically break out to the upside more often than not. And this could be the uh, breakout retest. That's that's that that could be very well the case. Nasdaq had a nice red day. I would expect some downside going into next week with the Dixie being bullish and gold coming into a major trend line here. I do think gold is going to pull back down about 1886. Um, that would be my target. Stop there. And uh, <clears throat> TP here. Boom. Okay. Looks like uh, that would be the case. And just by ticking below this last uh, little shooting, I don't know what they call that one, a doji candle. Uh, I'd expect going into next week, gold comes back down to about 1919. And then we judge it from there. All right. That's it for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button, share it with a friend, subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Have a blessed one. Take care.